So it looks like Cran might be in jail for way longer than we thought because some court documents just leaked. And it turns out she'll actually be spending eight years in jail. She was arrested not too long after she showed up to Blueface's court hearing with an outstanding warrant. Initially, people thought she was only going to be in jail for a couple months. But apparently she had a load of different charges on her name that she didn't even know about. And now she's going to be in prison for almost a decade. What makes this even? Messier is that there have been rumors going around for a while now about both her family and Blueface's family not wanting to take care of her son because he allegedly has special needs and no one has the time or patience to want to care for him. Apparently, Sebus is now getting involved and some paperwork is already being done for him to be sent to a foster home child. Y'all better buckle up for this one because we have to have to get into some things now. For those of y'all who somehow missed out on all the tea about Crone, it started a few few months ago when a video went viral of her being escorted out of Blue's court hearing wearing handcuffs in the video. Cran looked visibly confused as to why she was getting arrested. What happened, Christine? I don't fucking know. They saying I got a whole nother case caught up in downtown, I don't even be downtown. It's cool, I got my people looking into it. I don't know. Excuse me, sir, where are you guys arresting her for? For a whole other charge. A warrant out for what? I'm sorry? A warrant for what, sir? She yep. has a warrant for her arrest, right? Right. Are you gonna record me the whole way? The whole way, beautiful. Why? <laughs> you're, a, you're a big star. Oh, God. Apparently, she showed up to Blue's court hearing with her son, but immediately as she entered into the courtroom, he was snatched from her, and she was arrested, according to an eyewitness who spoke to Team Z5. The PD cops was already waiting on Cran when she walked in, so it appears this might have been planned ahead of time. And as soon as she entered, they were on her two female officers searched Crone once they had her in handcuffs. And her baby was taken away by officers as well once the full pat-down was complete, Cran was escorted out of the building. But it's unclear what happened to the baby at this point. It was still unclear why she was arrested. But it was later revealed that she had an outstanding warrant for her arrest, dating all the way back to 2022, when the cops found her transporting substances in Oklahoma. However, before the case could even go to trial, Cran ran away from Oklahoma and escaped. To so she could escape being sentenced. In fact, she had the G to admit this on her IG Live a few months ago. She said she ain't got no time to go to jail because she has to look after her son and that she's been paying thousands of dollars to get the case thrown out so she doesn't have to keep being a fugitive anymore. Thing that um, I've been paying off fees and getting rid of shit talking to certain people to help my uh, situation out um because you know i have my son so the old me would have just turned myself in and dealt with it through in from inside to the outside of the jail so whatever so i don't be like you know but uh right now i gotta play cautious because you know i don't i don't plan on um being in jail while my son is growing like I just don't plan on that at all so uh, I don't know who told Cran that people in jail are in there because they have time to be but that person clearly lied she thought she was just going to get away with this by throwing money at a few lawyers but the cops definitely had different plans they are not playing with her things got even worse for her when it was also revealed that aside from the charges she was facing for substance possession James Wright had also pressed charges against her for viciously attacking him unprovoked. And she's being punished for that as well now. For those of y'all who don't know the story between James and Cran, they got into it when Cran put her hands on, him leaving him with a messed up face and several broken teeth, all because she missed her spot to perform on stage with Tamer. Apparently she was supposed to perform with Tamer on stage, but she had missed it after she went out to go look for her friend by. The time she came back, her slot was up, and she wasn't allowed to get on stage anymore. Now, as usual, Crone did not take this very well, and she took her anger out on James by attacking him in front of everybody at the time Tamer's best friend, Latroy, went on an explosive rant and to file a lawsuit against her. But most folks thought he was just yapping. I don't even care at this point. Whoever want to get mad at me can get mad at me. Y'all gotta stop. First of all, let me tell you about this ghetto, disgusting gutter... 
I don't even want to call her a girl. First of all, she's trash. She should have never been at my show. So she come to Tamar concert, which I planned, and I will say that, um, drunk with a thousand people, smelling like looking dumb, okay? And so she, apparently she makes music. I didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? And apparently she wanted to drop a beat. So she was mad that she didn't get to perform. I didn't know she was a performer. And even if I did know she was a performer, she was not getting on the stage that everybody has worked their ass off to, to make. So she caught, first of all, y'all see the video. She was up there, a drunk fool, okay? Now, because his nose will not stop. She's going to prison. And I promise you, and we can cancel all this shit right now. You don't come to nobody's show. Everybody has worked their mother, uh, worked their behind off to make this tour amazing. You know what I'm saying? And we don't have a lot of help. So never will I ever let anyone get away coming to anything that anybody I know and care about plan and work hard for and assault them. And I'm letting it go. So I want everybody to let Crescent know, Croissant, whoever she is and whatever she does, I'm coming for every coin she has. And y'all know me, I'm not going to stop. I can't stop, won't stop Rockefeller Records. You do not come to my show and assault people that are working on my show. Now she caught and took your man upset because she didn't get to perform. So again, y'all saw her show her dumb ass during Love and War, she ruined the song, she ruined the concert, she ruined the moment. So then she went backstage and she is upset, okay? Because she didn't get to perform her ringtone. So she storms in Tamar's dressing room with a thousand people, okay? And everybody's like, nobody knew you were supposed to perform a song. We didn't even know that you made music. We thought you was on Zeus, right? So everybody's trying to calm her down. She's in there rough, rough, like a dungeon dragon, right? So then James is like, oh, it wasn't on purpose. Like, nobody tried to, like, shade you. We we didn't know that you were supposed to sing. She like, lie again. Lie again. And James like, no, nobody knew. And she hit James right in his face, chipped James' tooth. James' face is blood. James is at the hospital. People thought Eltry and James were just bluffing. But some court documents later leaked that revealed that James had actually filed that lawsuit against her. The lawsuit was filed on June 2nd, 2024, and she set to go to trial for that as well, now going back. To her being arrested, she was arrested about two months ago, and it looks like things are only getting worse because new court documents just leaked, and it looks like she might actually be serving some serious time. And not even the lawyers she's spending her entire Zeus paycheck on can save her according to arrest documents obtained by XXL Cran has been extradited to Oklahoma and is currently detained at the Northeast Oklahoma County Correction Center in Bonita on related charges. She's been chaired chaired with failure to have a tax stamp affixed on control substances and possession of CDs. With the intent to distribute each of these charges carries a potential four-year sentence, which means she's going to be in jail for eight years when she get found guilty. When this news broke, a lot of people felt bad for Cran because she's nowhere near close to getting out of jail. But people were also very concerned for her son, Junior. One person said she deserves to be in jail. She's not even a good mom. She broke the law law she needs to do the time her son is better off without her. Another person said, wow, I feel bad for her child. Maybe this is what she needs. Though now, the reason why a lot of people brought up Junior is because there have been rumors about him having some form of autism as well as Down syndrome. Though there hasn't been a medical diagnosis released, a lot of people have been putting two and two together and figured out what the little boy's health issue is. The rumors about Down syndrome started a few months ago when she went on ID Live with Junior, and people noticed how his face looked. He had visible facial features of a child who has fetal alcohol syndrome. People even noticed some of the physical signs of the condition, all of which Cron Jr. seemed to have the physical signs in question, include a small head, small eye opening, low nasal bridge, flat mid, thin upper lip, etc. And when it comes to Jr. having autism, those allegations came up when Gan went on live with him to reveal that she has officially quit smoking and drinking. However, throughout the live, Gron Jr. can be seen staring off into space.
and having a very puzzled look. This led fans to believe that the boy may actually be blind. 